Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome and thank you. So this is for the full moon in Leo, which is happening on February 16th. So before I get into each sign's individual reading, I just want to go over the energies a little bit so you better understand the energies. Now I'm not an astrologist, but this is what I do know. And then I'll read the cards according to the energy. So the full moon in Leo, and you know, you think about the full moon, it's about completion, full circle, it can be about releasing things and bringing things to an end. And it's all about cycles and rhythms as well, which can lead to endings. And so is the just the moon energy is very healing, it's cleansing, it's illusion. It can be about fear, but it's also about intuition, emotions and feelings. It also about cycles, rhythms and changes. And it also can be about the unknown or fear of the unknown that's before us as well. Now the energy of Leo, when you think of Leo, it represents the strength in the sun in the tarot. So Leo is all about, you know, shining brightly. It's all about strength, being maybe being in the spotlight. Some, you know, could be a little bit of ego, can be good or bad. Um, leader, bold. Um, very um, determined willpower control, you know, either inner control or control the situations around them. Maybe some may have a little problem with control issues as well. Um, but it's also about, you know, that willpower to restrain oneself also um, and holding back as well. But it's also about being strong, courageous, and brave, setting those healthy boundaries. And they usually are uh, truth speakers, you know, they speak up and speak their truth as well. There's no holding back a Leo, that is for sure. But we're still in Aquarius season. So combined with the Aquarius energy that we're in right now, Aquarius is um, all is an air sign. You know, an air is all about, you know, truth, clarity, communication, um, clarity, cutting away what's not serving, standing up, telling it like it is as well. It could be imaginative, a lot of ideas as well. But with the Aquarius energy, it's about... That's more uh, Aquarius, more of like a community, charity, uh, social uh, kind of energy as well. Humanitarian sometimes, that's where the charity comes in. They're usually good creators and they're future thinkers. They think ahead, you know, they uh, look into the future. Very goal orientated and uh, sometimes can be cool and aloof. And a lot of times I like to be um, homebodies as well. I mean, not necessarily for all. So that's the energies we're dealing with. So we'll see how these combined energies with your sign and what's going on for you for this full moon in Leo, what is uh, going to happen. So we'll look at all energies, love, work, money, career, relationships, whatever wants to come out is what we're going to read here. So I shall see you at your sign. Hi, Sagittarius. Welcome in. Welcome in. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. Let's see what's coming in for you for this full moon in Leo energy. What do you need to know? This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, any heavy Sagittarius placements, male or female, general collective reading. So please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And you can definitely flip switch reverse energies around anytime you feel the need to. So please feel free to do that as well. All right. Sagittarius cross watchers are welcome. Could actually be a reading or some messages in here for you. So please keep that in mind as well. All right. Sagittarius, welcome in, welcome in. Hope you're all doing well. Staying safe and healthy at this time. Everything that you do need to know, Sagittarius, about me and the channel is down below in the description box. So you could check that out if you would like to. Your playlists are down there as well. February readings are out. So you can check those out. And if you are new here, I do eight readings a month per sign to a week. We get a weekly reading, which is a quick, short peek for the week ahead. Those have just gone out. Those are technically shorter. And then I do longer readings, two monthlies, a new moon and a full moon. All right, Sagittarius. One more shuffle. Let's see what you need to know for this full moon in Leo energy for Sagittarius, please. Thank you so much. All right, one more for Sagittarius. Oh, one more. Oh, thank you, Mimi. Clumps. One more. One more. Okay, there we go. 
All right, Sagittarius, let's see what we have for you. We have forgiveness. 23, which is five, can be change. Letting go, healing, growth, compassion. So you could be uh, giving someone forgiveness, asking for forgiveness, uh, changing the dynamic of a, of a situation, whatever that is for you. Definitely healing. Could have to do with money. We have 14, which is five. Again, so we have two fives here. So that is about change. Five, five, ten, completion, full circle. That would be one, a new beginning. Finances, power, generosity, and abundance. Hmm. And we have gut instincts, 19, which is 10, which is completion, full circle. And then that would be one, a new beginning. Intuition, knowing, sensing, and trust. Now my left ear is ringing. We have a lion here. What does a lion represent? It represents Leo. So every time I do a reading for you, Sag, I have so much heavy Leo that comes out. I, I don't know. I don't know if you're dealing with the Leo or if you have Leo in your chart. Um, no, we do have money here. So you could have worked with this person at one time. Um, could have been a money situation between you and another. Uh, maybe something happened financially and, you know, there's a need here to heal and have forgiveness. We do have the rainbow here, which is luck, expansion, and growth. Green does represent the heart chakra. Gut instincts. So intuition, knowing, sensing, and trust. You may be actually um, having a hard time trusting someone now because of maybe a money issue as well but really needing to get in there and do that healing and forgiving can really grow um, you, this person, the connection. All right, could have been about, you know, about control over money. You know, it could have been any kind of situation. It could have been, um, it could have been a marriage situation, whatever that is for you. So let's see what else we have here. So we have 53, which is eight, listening. Eight is about, you know, Putting in the work, it's travel, action, communication. We have magic stream, 18, which is nine. And that is, no, nine for me is a single energy. Um, it is also one more step to completion, full circle, a new beginning. That's about flowing effortlessly, um, healing, just being in the flow of abundance. Water is very healing, cleansing. It's a feminine energy, it's purification, it's healing, emotions, feelings as well. And we have heal the ouch, and we have a 38, which is 11. And 11 is a spiritual life path number. So this universe spirit angel saying, this is the right path, keep going. There's definitely a sense here, we have healing twice, forgiveness, healing. And we have here... Um, compassion and I feel like with listening it's like listening to both sides of the story or listening to their side listening to each other healing the situation maybe need to rebuild trust again you know maybe because of financial or money issues or maybe you're just um your money could be picking up too um as well but let's see definitely someone wants to heal a situation here now i don't know if this is you sag or um someone you're dealing with but i feel like once the healing takes place you know really listening and being aware and compassion um and building the trust again um things are just going to flow i think um effortlessly you could have actually money flowing effortlessly into you as well all right so we have rainbow blessings so growth abundance blessings we have new moon promise so there now we just have the new moon in aquarius and now we're going into the full moon in leo so it could be that maybe by the next new moon something could be happening here but we do have here volcano volatility so volatility i can never say that word so it could have been, you know, this is like tower energy for me. So this could, could have been a very explosive energy in the past. But there's an energy of really healing a situation. Maybe uh, I see like reconnection here, two people reconnecting, maybe by the next new moon. Maybe making, I don't know, promises of to do better, to heal, to forgive, to mend, to listen more to each other. 
you know, let's build the trust, let's start over, let's heal the situation, and the things just flow effortlessly. All right. Do have luck, expansion, growth with that rainbow. And it's right next to the money. So uh, you could be having uh, some money come in. You could be getting a settlement, um, making more money. Your business could be picking up. All right. What do we have here for Sagittarius? Oh my goodness, that's way too many. For this full moon in Leo. And how fitting we have the line here for Leo. We are talking about the full moon in Leo. So I feel like... Um, so I have the Fool here, Aquarius energy. I just want to shuffle again. We are in Aquarius season right now. So how fitting. So this is resetting the energy back to zero. Let's start over fresh and new in some way. Strength, Leo. I'm telling you, Sag. Are you starting over with a Leo? I don't, I don't know because I get Leo. And here's the full moon in Leo. Oh, my God. Strength represents Leo. And here's the full moon in Leo. Taking a leap of faith. There could be like um, a real bond. You know, it could be something around this full moon energy. There could be energy of taking a leap of faith or reconnecting. And by the next new moon, things could really um, could really form a bond with this person. A really strong bond. Five of Swords. Defeat. Now this, I mean, this could be them. This could be you, Sag. So take this how it resonates for you. Three of Cups. So this could be dating, getting to know, reuniting, coming together, celebrating. Oh, let's see. Ten of Wands. So this is probably about your person because I know most people watching this, they're wanting to know what's going on with their person of interest or what's going to happen with them. So if this is your person, they're definitely sensing here... Um, they want to heal the situation, want it to flow effortlessly. They could be doing really good financially, so they're feeling really good and confident right now. So they could be coming in here uh, wanting to heal men, forgiveness. Let's make a promise to overcome this. Really listening to each other, overcoming any kind of, I don't think violence, but maybe um, conflict. Ten of Wands oppression here so I mean Sag you could be feeling like you know this is over it's defeated uh, five of swords feeling like maybe um, you were taken for granted in some way as well but I feel like even through that you were still hoping to reconnect with this person in some way oppression so really weighing you down here sin then we have the sun here at Leo again so this is the happiest card in the deck. Happiness, joy, fulfillment, growth, expansion. King of Swords. Someone rushing in here to speak truth, clarity, Gemini energy. Queen of Wands. That could be you, Sag. King or Queen, doesn't matter. That's Aries for me, but that definitely could be you. So something, someone rushing into you, Sag. Could be an air sign. Doesn't have to be. It's, again, someone returning. Six of Cups. Returning here for leveling up, healing, forgiving. In, you know, this is about spirituality, Faith, religion, leveling up in a big, big way. You could be leveling up in your work as well. Maybe uh, in a big corporation or business. But these are moral uh, values, standards. You know, it could be learning, teaching, going back to school um, as well. Two of Cups, soulmate union. Two of Cups here. Six of Swords. So definitely movement of travel. Knight of Pentacles. It's been a long time coming here. Taurus energy. So I feel like Sag, strong connection that cannot be denied. There's been a lot of holding back. A lot of holding back. Maybe even past lives together. But this full moon in Leo is definitely what someone thought was a lost cause. Actually, you know, the Ten of Wands. Let's see. King of Wands. That's Leo energy again. So it could be this person is feeling so overwhelmed. Uh, with the energy here of wanting to heal, forgive, reunite, rebuild. A sense of rebuilding as well. This could really be overwhelming them. Definitely. And how fitting we have Aquarius and Leo. Aquarius season, full moon and Leo. So that's just crazy. So that's significant here. 
someone could have Aquarius in their chart as well. All right. So let's see here, Sag. What else do you need to know? Magician. Someone definitely wants a new start, fresh start. They want to start over. Gemini Virgo. All right. Hermit. Someone's definitely been kind of a recluse. Uh, hermit mode, been alone, a lot of introspection, healing, thinking things out thoroughly before starting a new beginning here. That is for sure. Could have been at a distance or just kind of being alone in hermit mode. We have Gemini, Virgo, Virgo, rebirth, death and rebirth. So somebody could have went through a big ending here, but rising, rising from the ashes, you know, endings transitioning transforming healing into a new beginning leaving the past behind someone definitely could have left a past ending behind um, and went solo here for a while needing to feel um grounded safe secure um abundant you know passionate and alone in their own right before they could decide okay do i want to come forward to Sagittarius for this new beginning. Yes, the connection is there. We have strength. Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. And oh my God, as I say that, this does say strength. I don't know if you could see that. So, <laughs> Wounded Warrior, but keeps on going. Kind of like the Energizer Bunny, yeah. The universe, the world. Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. And the Ace of Swords on the bottom. Divine clarity from source, awakening, epiphany, aha moment, clear cut communication, cutting away what's not serving, standing up, telling it like it is. That isn't a successful new beginning as well. Sorry, it's been a long day. <laughs> um, and the Ace of Wands coming in with a fiery, hot communication to heal. Oh my gosh. Star energy, Aquarius, faith, hope, optimism, which dreams coming true, divinely guided energy, something meant to be healing. Wow. So, yeah, I feel like here it's been a long time coming. <coughs> Sorry. So somebody persevered through an ending, done the healing work. They had to be alone. They had to find themselves again. They had to heal. They had to find who they truly were inside and out, what they want to do with their life, you know, who they truly are. And definitely, you know, the world here, cycles closing, new cycles starting. They could, be, again, like I said, at a distance. That could be moving, traveling, or distance. So they could physically be at a distance from you as well, um, Sagittarius, or you from them. It's a strong connection. We have strength here twice. Strength, strength. Wow. All right. I feel like a fiery hut exciting communication oh my goodness all right and as i say that we have the princess of swords page of swords and the nine of pentacles nine of pentacles very stable grounded secure independent that's my single energy so somebody could be communicating to you that they are single now also you could be getting communication um you know, the Nine of Pentacles can be about being very, very successful as well. You may be doing some research or something. So if you have a business or uh, something like that, or an you're an entrepreneur or something, you may be doing a lot of research here, which will really sharpen your skills and make you even more successful. Somebody could be watching the other as well with the um, Page of Swords Aquarius energy for me again. Eight of Wands, there's that communication coming in. Travel, action, communication. Judgment, Scorpio energy. Healing, forgiving. There's that healing and forgiving again. Releasing all this energy. Healing, forgiving, resurrection. Releasing it. Let's start anew. Let's resurrect. However this means for you. Decision has been made. Past life energy as well. Bringing in what's meant to be here. Empress. So we have divine feminine energy here. Libra Taurus. Wow. Making a judgment call to come into their Empress. 
So definitely somebody is single here. Could have, you know, kept tabs on each other online. Five of Cups, someone is feeling a little sad and lonely, needing change. Could be a Twin Flame connection, doesn't have to be. Four of Wands. That could be dating, getting to know, uh, marriage commitment, ceremony celebrations. It could be buying, leasing, renting a home. It could be renovating, redecorating, stable grounded home life. So definitely a change where it felt a little stagnant and sad. Definitely is a change coming in here. Here's that moon energy, full moon Leo we're talking about. But the moon is, you know, fear of the unknown, illusion. But it's about listening to our intuition, higher knowing, emotions and feelings, cycles and rhythms and changes as well. It could be secrets. Um, so someone could have been, you know, keeping a secret about how they truly feel. It's Pisces energy. And now we have justice. So Libra energy here, universal law and order, truth, clarity, justice, balance, getting what we deserve. Somebody could have went through divorce or this is a legal settlement or something like that as well. Wow, so <sighs> I feel like somebody here has been through an ending. It could have been a divorce. Maybe they're waiting on a settlement, uh, money or something like that. That's why we had the Nine of Pentacles right here. You know, this Page of Swords can be communication. So maybe someone's receiving communication because we do have gain here as well. Empress is about birthing new things here. So let's see. Divine Feminine Energy. For you Sagittarius. You could be really feeling uh, in your Divine Energy. Whether you're male or female. Emperor Empress. You know, and that could be starting something new. A new business. Uh, you know, a project, endeavor, goal. Whatever it is for you. Starting a family. Page of Wands. There's communication. That's Sagittarius energy. That's you. Are you communicating? Or it's coming into you. Wheel of Fortune. There you are again. Sagittarius, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Fate, Destiny, Divine Timing. Things. I'm feeling like communication comes in at just the right time. So whether you're communicating or they're communicating to you, it's like it just feels like the right time, especially around this energy of the full moon in Leo during Aquarius season for some reason. But the Wheel of Fortune is fate, destiny, divine timing, things getting better, going in the right direction. Three of Pentacles. So rebuilding here works. It's about rebuilding, building, teamwork, collaboration. Ten of Swords. Ruin. Hmm. Seven of Pentacles. Invest. Failure. So we have the Ten of Swords and failure. So... This person could really, really feel like they failed you in the past because there was an ending. And I feel like they're wanting to come in here to rebuild and rectify that. And they're really excited about this. They feel like you deserve it and they feel like they owe you this as well as what I feel. In a way. Renew the love here. Ace of Cups or a brand new beginning in love. Whatever that means uh, for you. Two of Wands. Someone is choosing the crossroads here of coming in with clarity, truth, communication, love. Wow. And Ace of Wands. Oh my goodness. I just did Leo and they had like all, I had a different deck and everything and they had almost all the Aces. They're excited about this. Excited new beginning. It's starting to heal. They are so excited to start over and heal and to communicate and to set the record straight. And give you what you deserve. And they feel like they owe you this. And you deserve this. Wow. Aquarius again. Seven of Wands. They're not going to give up easy either. Page of Cups. Apologies. Love offers. Romance. Communication. Pisces energy. Knight of Wands coming in really hot and fast. Sagittarius energy. Wow. Let's see. Three of Swords. Yeah. King of Wands, so they're coming in to melt these swords out of your heart, Sagittarius. Leo energy here. Mend that broken heart. Wow. Someone is coming back here to heal the ouch, mend the broken heart. Wow. All right. And again, I think things are going to go really good for you during this time too, as far as your work, money, career, and finances as well. So if you have a business, clientele could be picking up. Business could be picking up. Um, 
as well. You could be working in groups or devising plans or strategies or something to that effect as well. <clears throat> right. So let's get you some advice and guidance, Sagittarius. Oops. Sorry, I probably hit the microphone. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. Sagittarius. Look at that bright, brand new beginning in love or renewal of love or whatever that means for you. Definitely healing all the boo-boos, healing the ouches. Things are going to flow effortlessly now. Blessings coming in. Promise of a new day, a new tomorrow, a new life maybe, a new romance. All right, advice and guidance for you, Sagittarius. Balance, work, rest, and play. It's important for you to have fun along with fulfilling your responsibilities. So this could have started out as um, a work connection or a friendship. Your wishes are coming true. What your heart has been longing for is getting closer each day. I got that for Leo as well. All right. Okay. Magnify your intentions. Choose a specific goal and work toward to work toward. Your energy is spread among too many ideas. Please bring your focus back to the key intention and let your angels help. So white to me. So if it was a friend or a co-worker, then it's kind of solely turned to love here. We have like this pinkish energy, which to me always reminds me of like a new love energy. And then we have white for purity, uh, clarity as well. So somebody here, it's either you or them really needs to hone in on their intentions. They could be scattered all over the place, how they want to communicate, what they want to say, how they're going to do it. But someone needs to just um, not overthink this. That's what I feel as well. You ha could have a lot on your plate right now, um, Sag. This is regarding like your business or career. You could be trying to throw a lot of, you know, um, irons in the fire. And it's like, just, you know, choose a few things. Don't like overwhelm yourself. We did, didn't we have the Ten of Wands here? Ten of Swords, so... What else here for Sagittarius? Chakra clearing. By clearing your chakras, you open yourself up to profound wisdom. So that is healing. Chakra clearing is healing energy as well. So in trust, you could trust the people around you. They are earth angels sent to give you the guidance you seek. So again, that's twice we have trust here. So someone could have uh, trust issues as well. And someone's gut instincts could really be telling them, you know what, maybe I just need to trust the situation, trust this person, um, trust your gut instincts, they're coming back, whether or not you could trust them. I think you can, Sagittarius, especially, you know, someone who wants to heal, really heal the situation and kind of start over anew. And they're really excited um, about this. Come in and heal, promise of a new tomorrow, a new day, a new connection, like rebuilding the connection as well. Sag. All right, Sag, that's what I have for you. So I hope that helped. It resonated. Again, thank you so much for being here. It's a truly, truly appreciated. Again, don't forget to check out your February readings. More weeklies to come. And then we will be heading into March. And if you would like to go to the community tab, I do have a poll up there. What kind of reading you would like to see for the week of Valentine's Day. A special love reading or the usual. So vote on that as well. So wishing you the best and I shall see you next time.